Good morning, y'all. I was out here gathering the eggs, and um, I thought y'all might want to take a walk on me, and I hope I didn't just break an egg. I don't think I did. Um, one thing about gathering eggs, you have to look for a snake, and I have never had a snake in my land boxes, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. This is the lamb boxes, and it's crazy. You don't need this many. Uh, I've got five chickens is all I've got, and I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got ten lamb boxes, and they all lay in one. And here comes, let's see, which one are you, honey? You're Linda. Hey, Linda. Come on in. I'm going to close you up where you can have some privacy. She's wanting to lay an egg, so we're going to close her up. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. She's wanting up there. So we can kind of let her think she's getting some privacy. They like to be alone. They like for it to be dark and quiet when they lay their eggs. And there she goes up in her nest. She's probably gonna go in the exact ones I just got the eggs out of. Go on in, baby. Go on, Linda. I should think I'm leaving. Go on, baby doll. Nobody's gonna bother you. Close it up and see if that'll help her. She's trying to get in there. She just don't want me being in here. Her needs to lay an egg, though. Yes, she does. I stepped out just a minute to give her a chance to um, get in her box, and then I'll let y'all see her sitting uh, for the ones that want to see her sitting. Um, I love watching them. I love watching them do anything. So, um, I'm going to switch this around. I'm going to show you I've got all the eggs in my Grandma Cochran's apron. I love Grandma Cochran's apron. And I don't know if I can show y'all the apron or not. Let me see. It's, man, I just don't know. It's dragging down because of the eggs. But anyway, um, it works good for me. Let's see if she might be in there. And there she is. She's in there. She's wanting to lay her an egg. She's trying to get it all situated. They're so precious. I'll leave you alone, Linda. Do your business. So now I'm going to put the eggs. We got it where the cows can come in the chicken lot. So that opening right there. They can come in here if they want to. And of course, right now, there's only the two mamas and the two babies that are in these top fields. Uh, here's Sweet Hunter's beautiful garden. Isn't it pretty? Oprah's really growing. Can't get over it. I'm still not convinced about the grass, but around the tomatoes. But I tell you, he's got big tomatoes down in there. It's actually amazing. We picked our first mess of squash yesterday, and it was so much that we gave some away. So. Isn't that beautiful? It's just beautiful. Those are California Zinnia flowers, and I usually you get uh, maybe three and a half, four foot tall, and these are not going to, probably like a water, but you can see they're fixing to the bloom. So I cannot wait to see them start blooming. And then over there, 
Sweet Hunter's got his cucumbers, and back there he loves sunflower seeds, so he's got them planted in that back row. I don't know if you can see it or not. I am just going to lay the eggs out in a uh, the chair on the back porch because I'm not going in yet. And I've got some more things to do. He felt like I cracked one. Nope, I didn't. So, there's the eggs for today and she's laying one right now. So, now this is no worms. I'm about out, but they're being delivered tomorrow. And my bluebirds love them, and I have lots of bluebirds. So, so I'll just reach in there. They're just dried mealworms. I don't know. Let me switch the camera. Okay. I see if you can see these mealworms. There they are. They're just dried mealworms, and um, I just take them out here and. What I usually do, I don't have a dish or anything to put them in, so I just sprinkle them all around here in that tractor tire. That's why there's nothing buried, there's nothing uh, planted in there. There is a wild sunflower in it, but uh, not a wild one, but it came out of birds. The bird feeders. And I usually give them two or three hens full a day of the mealworms. And the bluebirds. The bluebirds like to get in the flower pots, and they don't hurt them. And then I just throw a little bit on the floor, so on the floor, on the ground. So that's how I feed my bluebirds, and they'll be here like in no time, eating them. And the guineas like them too. So, and let's see if there's any water in the bird bath. Y'all getting to tag along with me? Yeah, there's plenty of water in there. Y'all getting to tag along with me to see, see what all I do. When I feel good, and I feel good today, I've already been to the doctor and got my labs, and uh, everything looks pretty good. I've got some moving up to do on my white blood count, but that'll come. And um, today I actually should have had chemo. Uh, thank the Lord, he had a plan, and he said 12, and that's what we have accomplished is 12. Let's see if we can do this without... Looky there, can y'all see the chickens in there? Now this is not their pen. I don't know if y'all can see them or not. This is not their pen. This is another pen that don't have chickens in there now. But um, I have feeding water in there and they love it up here because it's shady. And see, there it is. Okay. I am. I've got a gate open right here, hoping that the mom and baby's gonna get in this um, pen, in this uh, pasture, uh, where we can keep them separate we had to move some of the cows out i'll show you the cows we moved out these are the cows we moved out i think there was about eight in here and we just added them to the big herd down in the bottom two pastures uh, because they were bothering the newborn so now we just have dolly pale face ribeye and the newborn we think it's a heifer we think she's a heifer if I didn't say that on the last video. We're real excited about it. And um, she is the cutest thing. But ribeye is a little rough with her. And ribeye needs to be out too. So I'm trying my best today to coax them down here. So I'm going to ride up to where they are and see if they'll follow me. I doubt they will, but they'll get the idea eventually sometime today. And they'll come down here and then I can run... Um, dolly and ribeye out bring the other cows that's down the other pasture up here that's what the sweet hunter wants done so i'm going to ride up there and see if i can coax them down here. they know this gator sound so they're going to probably follow me all the way up the
going over some names this morning and um, Sweet Hunter just happened to say, because Mama is named Paleface, like an Indian, he happened to say Papoose. And I really like that, but I haven't talked him into it yet. But I really get to name them most of the time myself. So, are you sleepy, Papoose? Actually, I was thinking baby girl, but um, there comes Pill Face to check out Ribeye, just to make sure Ribeye's not done anything wrong. Wrong calf, baby. Oh, it's just, oops, y'all didn't see that, did you? Farming's not a uh, clean, clean living, so um, it's hard work and it's fun though, it's lots of fun. But I guess she's asleep or trying to go to sleep. And so I don't know where Dolly is. She's probably down there where I want them. But they got lots of grass and shade here. They're so pretty. So I'm gonna ride down. They'll get the message after a while and they'll come down where that fence is. I'm gonna head in, I think, and do a little in the house. And, um, sorry I look awful, y'all, but it's the life here, so. Do you know what? It really doesn't matter what you look like on the farm. What y'all doing, huh? What y'all doing? Getting some water? You got some cornbread this morning, didn't you? Huh? Did you get some cornbread this morning? These are actually not in a pen. They, they can come in and out as they want to, but they like it in here because it's cool. And then the other one, Linda, she's up laying an egg. So, 
And if we were out long enough, we would probably hear her doing her thing. I've got a little more work to do in here. I'm trying to find some silkies. So, um, if anybody knows anybody that's got silkies, I'm looking for some. That's where I want to put these. I love their little coop. So. Okay. I am going in now. If I don't get distracted, let's see what. I just love it out here, y'all. There's just something about the farm. You know what? I might sit down and swing a little while. Let's see. I keep getting my finger in the way of this camera. But we got one swing turned toward the pasture and one toward the uh, house. So whichever way, you know, where you want to see it, you have both views. So I'm not gonna sit here too long though. I got things to do while I feel good. Look at that hydrangea. Is that not beautiful? We might take a closer look up there. Okay, here is our hydrangea. This was here at the farm when we um, when we bought it. Oh, I wish I could t just tell y'all the story of the farm. It's just, and maybe one day I will. I have on my blog a little bit, but not much. But there was just such a feeling here when we came to look at it and we knew it was ours. But this was at the farm. We're gonna have to move that bush right there. It's grown so much, but it never has bloomed like this. Look at the pink and blue and white. Oh my goodness, purple. I mean, it's, unreal now the crazy thing is let's see if I can get a picture from here it's huge my girls are wanting some of it in the fall when we split it up it's just beautiful the crazy thing is when we first moved here I'll show you we did split it up and this like I say this is the first year they've bloomed like this Oh my goodness, this is not beautiful. This is part of the big one, but because it's planted in a different soil than that one up there, this one has pink. Hi, Kenny Weenies. Where's the rest of you? Huh? Where's the rest of you? If y'all have a farm and don't have guineas, y'all are missing out. It is something to see. So this one, because of the soil. So as I was saying, because it's in a different soil, this one is pink. Now I'm gonna walk you down to our fire pit and I'm gonna show you another one that's off the very same plant that we split up. Maybe we'll say hello to the guinea minis. There's two of them. It's the old gray mare and its mate. So this is the other one. And it's blue. And it's down here close to the river. I don't know if you can see the river through the woods or not. I'm gonna walk y'all down here where you can see the river good. It's just beautiful. This is what we fish a lot. We haven't done much fishing this year. That's a good part. I hear the turtles jumping. They stay on those logs right down there. I don't know if you can see them or not. And when somebody walks down here, they all jump off. Okay. I have got to get in the house. So. I've enjoyed walking with you and talking with you, and, and uh, I look forward to the next video.